If you're curious about the charging efficiency of this MagSafe battery pack from Basis, please watch my detailed analysis and the data collected from its wireless and wired charging process. This is a real-world MagSafe battery charging test from Basis rated at 20 watts max. I have drained my iPhone 13 down to 10% and my phone asked me to enable the low power mode, so I'm gonna do that, which reduces the CPU frequency and may increase the charging efficiency from this MagSafe battery, which is fully charged. As you can see, it is trickling charge, the battery right now. So I'm going to disconnect the battery, turn it on, one press, shows the battery indicator, and it supports wild, uh, charging as well. This is a bi-directional Type-C port. Now my battery level is at 10% with the low power mode enabled 10%. The time is now 10.56 Sunday, August 28th. Now I'm going to, going to connect. The charging starts. 10% charged. I'm going to leave it here. 10.50 six and see uh, how many percentage I will get back. And by the way, this battery health is at 98%, about one year old. I'm not using the phone, just wake it up and check the progress. 11.14 at 24%. My room temperature is 80 degrees. This is a thermal image camera. So we can take a look at its temperature. The hottest part is around the edge here. I'm getting 100 degrees max. It's 2, 8 p.m., 100% charged. It is slowly blinking. And the charging is still ongoing, still shows charging. Cooled down significantly. Ninety five. The charging finally stopped around twelve fifteen uh, at one hundred percent. Looks like it still has some charge left. 100%. So I'm going to connect it to my iPhone 11 and see how much more juice it got. To sum up, the charging started at 10.55 a.m. at 10%, stopped at 2.15 p.m. at 100%. I gained 90% battery in the iPhone 13 in the 3 hour, 20 minutes charging duration. It still has some juice left. I'll connect it to my iPhone 11, which is at 65% and see how much more I can get from the remaining battery capacity. It shows a red LED. And the time is 2.39 p.m. On a side note, this battery pack is designed specifically for iPhone 12 and 13. With this type of MagSafe charging adapter phone case, you can totally use it for iPhone 11 as well. For Android users, you may also use this battery pack to charge the Android phones like Samsung phones if you get the MagSafe rain adapter and attach it to your case. I'm not sure when the charging stopped. It's completely dead and now it's sitting at 73%. So it added about 8% to the iPhone 11 before the battery is completely depleted. I can charge the MagSafe battery bank and use it at the same time.
20 watts input. With the battery drained again to 8%, I'm going to do the second test by using the Type-C to lightning cable in the wired connection and see if it will go faster and maybe get higher efficiency connecting a USB power meter so I can see the power output and milliamps pushed into and this thing is fully charged as you can see previously from the power meter and the time is 4 p.m. 35 435 at 11% charged up super quick so that's about 2 times 9 that's 18 watts max so you can charge the iPhone at its maximum rated power 18 watts using the type C it's been charging for 54 minutes 1,388 milliamps, 84% charged, 11.88 watt hour discharged, and voltage dropped to 5 volts, 1.34 amps. So that is expected as the battery gets full, the voltage actually lowered. 619, 100% charged, and I got. 14.52 watt hour from it the output is 1909 milliamps the charging duration is one hour 44 minutes it looks like it is still trickling charge I got one bar left um, there's no way to tell exactly how many percentage left in the battery pack uh, however there is a 600 milliamps rated according to this label on the side on this side 6000 milliamps so that is 23.1 watt hour the iPhone battery capacity is 12.4 watt hour and I got a 14 0.5 watt hour output now let's try iPhone 11 and see how many milliamps we'll be able to put in to the phone 650 sitting at 33 percent charging at 9 volts 1.63 amps the charging stopped the screen won't even turn on even if I uh, disconnect I'm not even sure when it stopped 55% this is the latest magnetic wireless charging power bank from basis it is specifically designed for iPhone 13 and iPhone 12 but I should also be able to use it with my iPhone 11 with this MagSafe adapter if you have a Android phone and get the MagSafe adapters you should also be able to use it let's take a quick look and see its charging speed and its power input for iPhone users it's gonna be maxed out at 7.5 watts it also features a type C output uh, that you can use it with the iPhone type C to lightning cable also comes with the type C to type C charging cable let's see how fast it recharges I'm going to plug into my 100 watts basis charger and keep in mind you can always use a fast charger for a smaller power consumption devices it looks like um, I got three bars so I'm not sure if it is um, it's gonna give me the full speed interesting so 18 watts out of the box cool and when it's charging that LED light blinks peel this off it is equipped with over temperature protection yeah it is charging it right now my iPhone is sitting at 60 percent the connection is very very strong it takes a lot of effort to shake it off and if I grab the phone 
it's even more difficult to shake it off. Yeah. And keep in mind, this is not the original uh, iPhone case. So if you get the case with a magnetic ring, then the connection will be even stronger, much, much stronger.